Look, things change. Anyone with a yeah, camera has a computer right now. Do right. you have a really remarkable self-publishing success story? I, I just want you to kind of share that with our readers first. Kind of the condensed version was I had always wanted to write a book, and there was no better way to learn how to write a book than to just sit down and start writing one. And so um, I would get up every morning early, about 5, and start writing. I had a day job at the time, so I would write for about an hour and a half every morning and then go to my day job. And then after about a year of doing that, the book was done. Somewhere along the way, I thought it would be really great if I could get an agent and get a publisher and share the story. I was so excited about it, and my rejection rate was 100%. I always knew that I had another option and that I could self-publish, um, and I didn't want to. I felt like if I had to self-publish, I'd failed, and it, it wasn't good enough, and I really wanted that experience of having a publisher and seeing my books on the shelf. And so I hired an editor and a copy editor and found my cover art and did all of the things you would need to do that a publisher would normally do for you and published it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and Smashwords and just kind of sat back and kept going to my day job, started another book and after about six months it really just, the word of mouth just kept building and building and building and it, and it took off and I went from selling maybe four copies a day to 5,000 copies a day. And here you are today. And here I am today, yeah. Maybe you could just talk about rejection a little bit. I mean, I think it was 14 times you rejected. Do you have any advice for the writers out there in our audience that are coping with probably some similar rejection? A lot of times when you're getting those rejections, you're feeling it very personally. You think that it's about the work and, you know, they don't want anything to do with me and I'm a bad writer. But in my case, none of them ever actually read any part of the manuscript. I got form rejections. So I never had an agent actually say, send this part of the manuscript and then got a rejection. They just flat out rejected me from the beginning. So that was really hard and there were days where I kind of thought, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe this is just not what I'm born to do. You also hired an editor mm -hmm. and some cover art. How did you budget for that and how did you find the right people to do that? I went out on Twitter and paid attention. So when somebody would tweet about somebody's work and that they thought it was really good, I would write that name down. That's how I found my editor. And then a copy editor, I just went to some of the message boards that I used to hang out on, kindleboards.com, and, and I just listened. Who are people talking about? Who are people saying that they've worked with and that they've been really pleased with their work? And how did you come up with your own budget for that? I mean, I don't think many writers have a conception. I knew there was a certain amount of money that I wanted to put into the book, and it ended up being really, by the time it was all said and done, only about $1,500. I mean, I basically had no overhead. I hired everyone on a flat fee basis. Um, so then that price was negotiated up front. So I kind of just knew what I was comfortable with. Um, I knew my editing was going to take the biggest chunk, and it did. Finally, uh, you wrote this book with children, with mm -hmm. a day job. Any advice for the readers out there that are trying to juggle all of these different things and find the time to write? You will have to give up things. I mean, I stopped reading the newspaper. I stopped um, all my magazine subscriptions, you know, lapsed, and those were things that I loved. I mean, I was a every single day read the paper cover to cover girl. So I just found the time. If there was um, a stretch of a couple hours on the weekend where the kids were occupied and, and my husband was off doing his thing, I would sit down and I would work and I would stay off social media. So I think if you want to do that, if that's what you're aspiring toward and you want to finish a, a complete novel, that's what you have to do. You just have to, to be disciplined.